much. Give honor to the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus. And I am so godly proud and so eternally grateful to our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., for this opportunity. At this stage of my life, he's given me a whole new reason for living. And I want you to know that I love every minute of this. I'm totally consumed by our Kojic Academy. It is a labor of pure love. I want to also give honor to our First Lady and our jurisdictional First Lady. Thank you. I am happy and proud of the trust that our jurisdictional prelate has reposed in me to not only be dean over this academy, but to have his authority to select the faculty and the board of directors of our Kojic Academy. And I want, as I read the names of the board, those who are present, I would hope that they would join me on this pulpit. Dr. Eric Grayo is a friend of this ministry. He is the pastor of Triad Ministries Church of God in Christ. We know him to be a consummate theologian and scholar. Dr. Robert L. Foster. Who is a doctor of biblical history. Sister Rita J. Bogier, who's not here, but she has technical knowledge above all other that I have ever seen, and she has already been so instrumental in the formation of our academy. Dr. Sharon Woodruff, who is a doctor of Christian education from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Reverend Mark Creech, who is the executive director of the Christian Action League here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I, I want you to know that his organization is, is going to offer internships for our students with his organization and others. Dr. Alonza Fullwood, who comes recommended by our bishop. He is the pastor of Riley Hill Baptist Church. He is a professor of preaching at Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. Evangelist missionary Shannon Prevo. And I don't have to tell you about Shannon. You all know all about Shannon. Evangelist missionary Wanda Thomas. who is anointed in the area of church administration. Amen. Our faculty consists of virtually all of the same people with a few additions. I will be part of the faculty. I will be teaching legal ramifications in ministry as I currently do and have done since 2010, I think, for Greater North Carolina. Evangelist missionary Mary D. Williams. Who is also the assistant dean of our Kojic Academy. Elder Robert Williams is a part of our faculty. And Elder Michael Cook is a part of our faculty. And all of you know his area is evangelism and witnessing. In addition to 10 or 12 core classes that every Kojic Academy across the country um, has to offer, our Kojic Academy will be offering a number of electives online. 
Apologetics 1 and 2. That is basic and advanced apologetics. Taught by Dr. Grayo and Reverend Creech. Christian education will be an elective. Evangelism in action will be an elective. Hermeneutics. Pastoral counseling. World religions. And there will be a civics course, as I mentioned before, with internships at the Christian Action League. And uh, Reverend Creech has let us know that not only will there be internships at his organization, but he is going to personally open the door for internships at other like-minded Christian organizations. This morning, we want to take the opportunity to officially sign our certificate of affiliation with the National uh, uh, Charles Harrison Mason Jurisdictional Institute. There are many across the country. We are in District 7. There are, I believe, 17 districts. So they are multi-state districts, and we are in District 7. I'm going to ask our Assistant Dean and I first to sign the certificate. Our Assistant Dean is also the Registrar of our Kojic Academy. And while she's doing that, I want to announce also two other members of our administrative staff, and that's uh, Janice Watford, who is our secretary, and Anita, is Anita here? Anita Harris, who's our financial coordinator. And Wanda Thomas is also serving as a consultant or, or a coordinator for our coaching academy. At this time, I would ask our bishop 